Yellowstone Super Volcano is eruption imminent after we've had 193 earthquakes this month. I would venture to say there's more than 193, there's maybe twice that much in the area. Sean Martin Express UK reports, Yellowstone, almost 200 quakes have been rocking the region in the past month, and we're asking the question, is this a meaning that it's about to erupt? According to monitoring services from U.S. Geological Survey, Yellowstone in Wyoming has experienced 193 earthquakes in the past 28 days, and all of these tremors are relatively small, with the largest registering magnitude 3 in the northwest section of the park, just outside of the park actually, it's uh, just northwest of Hebgen Lake, on November 10th. And when the quakes, while the quakes in Yellowstone register are not uncommon, almost 200 in one month is rare, that's because we had a couple of quake swarms. The National Park Service stating that the region usually has around 700 a year, while others say there's between 1,500 to 2,500 a year. Now, in the upper scale, it can experience up to 3,000 a year. Experts warn us it's not necessarily the size of the earthquakes, which is the indicator that a volcano may erupt, but the quantity of the earthquakes. Portland State University geology professor emeritus Scott Burns says, if you get swarms under a working volcano, the working hypothesis is that magma is moving up underneath there. In other words, it's filling up with magma. The chamber is filling up. Others disagree about whether an earthquake swarm near a volcano could be a sign of things to come. Jamie Farrell at the University of Utah, Salt Lake City, feels that this is just a part of the natural cycle of what Yellowstone does as a volcano. He says, earthquake swarms are fairly common in Yellowstone. There's no indication that this swarm is related to magma moving through the shallow crust. Yellowstone supervolcano is located uh, in the state of Wyoming, also overlapping into Montana and Idaho. And its last major eruption, the super eruption, was 640,000 years ago. According to the United States Geological Survey, the chances of a Yellowstone eruption is around 1 in 730,000. With 640,000 years having passed since the last major super eruption, Yellowstone is edging closer to an explosion. It could still be, of course, a long time away. However, experts are preparing for the worst and they're studying how a major eruption, which could instantly wipe out large swaths of U.S., could be prevented. One NASA employee feels that he's found a unique way to stop this major eruption, and that's by feeding cold water into Yellowstone magma chambers. NASA engineer Brian Wilcox hopes to stave off the threat of such a super eruption by cooling it down, cooling down the magma in the chambers inside the volcanoes, the volcano. Around 60 to 70 percent of the heat generated by Yellowstone seeps into the atmosphere and the remainder builds up inside and if enough builds up that's what can trigger an eruption. By drilling 10 kilometers into Yellowstone this NASA employee believes that it would be possible to pump high pressure water which will allow the cool liquid to absorb some of the heat before it's pumped back out again. Wilcox told journalist Brian Walsh, who is writing a new book called End Times, that the plan could cost three and a half billion dollars. It would have the added benefit of using the steam from the water and magma combo to create carbon-free geothermal electricity at a much cheaper rate than any alternative energy currently available on the planet. And uh, Wilcox told Walsh, the thing that makes Yellowstone a force of nature is that it stores up heat for hundreds of thousands of years before it all goes, uh, you know, blasting away all at once. It would be good if we drained away the heat before that could do a lot of damage. Others are not so convinced about the feasibility of Wilcox's idea USGS scientist Jake Lowenstern told Walsh it all seems a bit fanciful and the uh, 
geologist in charge, Michael Poland, says no one is going to touch Yellowstone as long as I'm there. Because what we're trying to mitigate, to forego, may actually come to us sooner than later if something is punctured, the roof of the uh, chamber punctured, and uh, an eruption takes place because of a mistake. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.